huge blossoms. So on Friday, I am getting my new puppy, Lexi, and I'm so excited. So as you can see, this vlog here is me getting ready for her. So let's get into the video. So Lexi's room is inside of my room and there's a little puppy playpen and then a little puppy crate because we're going to be crate training Lexi because we have had three puppies in the past. We had Heidi as a puppy, we had Bailey as a puppy and we had Peggy as a puppy and then my other three dogs but we're getting a fourth dog now which is Lexi and we've had all crate train all of our dogs so that's why we're going to crate training Lexi. So right now I'm just putting puppy pads inside the crate because that's what my mum told me to do but turned out I wasn't supposed to do that. She meant the playpen. After I was filming this video, I put the puppy pads on the like the ground here in my room. So it's, it's a tile floor, so I thought it would be alright to clean because as you are aware, puppies pee and poo everywhere. So right now I'm just trying to peel off the pets at home like sticker on here because we don't want her having wet um sticker in her drink. So we have to peel off the sticker. And these stickers are a nightmare to peel off. Like why do you have to put them at the bottom? Like, why can't you just like put them at the back and where, and where the food doesn't go or the water doesn't go? But we actually had to get really, really shallow bowls because the Alexi is so, so tiny. Like, she's only like she's so small and like she's only a Chihuahua cross to a like King Charles Spaniel, so she's gonna be absolutely titchy. I'm so excited to actually go and see what Lexi's gonna be like and what she's gonna look like when she's older because there's actually not many like photos of what her breed is on Google. I can see some photos, but some of them don't really look the same. So I'm not really sure what Lexi's gonna look like. But I'm very excited to get our little puppy. So let's continue trying to peel off this sticker. Right now it's in the air because I cannot peel it off for the life of me. But I'm literally so excited to get Lexi, but literally she's two hours away. So we're going to be driving for ages on Friday, like a four hour trip just to go and get Lexi. But I'm very excited to go and get her. So here is me trying to peel it off. As you can see, I got a little bit peeled off. But when I was peeling it, like a little bit of like, like sticky stuff got stuck. And I don't want the sticky stuff in there. So I have to keep on trying to get it out. So finally, I got all the sticky stuff out, which is awesome. And now they can continue trying to set up her room. So let's continue trying to do it. So as you can see, I'm just going to go put the puppy pads away. And now I can continue trying to set it up. And let me go and get the bag of stuff. Because we need to get the bag of stuff for Lexi. Because as you are aware, I did a shopping spree video. So if you haven't already, definitely go and do check out the shopping spree video I did. Of me getting all the puppy supplies, which you're going to see in this video. And today, I actually went and got more shopping supplies. And you're going to see it later on. Because this clip was recorded a couple of days ago. But today, I went and got more puppy supplies. We went and got food for her. And we've got everything we need so as you can see i got some little tiny balls here which is awesome so we're gonna open these and, we, and let's just have the time of our life playing with these but they're actually so cool and as you can see the balls fell out everywhere and hit the camera but let's continue to open the rest of the stuff so that's the first package opened from the stuff i bought when i went on the shopping spree so if you haven't already do go check out the shopping spree because it's me unboxing all the stuff i got on the shopping spree but my bed is pretty messy as you can see but don't mind that because that's my bed in the background but don't mind that okay so let's continue so here is the next thing we got which is the licky mat which is so so cool and i'm going to get a pink one in the shopping spree as you did see but i actually got an orange one instead and as you can see i did get a pink Kong, which is awesome. I'm very happy I'm going to get a pink Kong. So let's continue trying to open the rest of the stuff here. So here's a pink Kong opened. And now let's see what else I have. So here is this next toy here, which is a little bone that says Lexi. And this will probably be about the size of Lexi when she's a puppy. But hopefully she'll like to chew on it when she's older and let's have a squeak on it because it is a squeaky bone. So hopefully she will like it when she's older. But it's actually quite hard to get the like the cardboard off, but I did manage to do it in the end, but it took a long time to try and get the cardboard off because I'm not very coordinated. So here is that opened. Now let's go and get the next stuff opened. So here is the next thing here, which is the Kong. I'm probably not going to open this, but that goes inside of this as a pink thing, as I was showing. 
So let's continue trying to see. And this one here is a little training treat. There's a training treat there. And there's another bag of treats there. I've got so many bags of treats. And this is another training treat bag. And then this one here is another little treat, which is like chicken sticks, which is awesome because it's going to be awesome for us to chew and see another little crate. And then there's another treat there. Another treat there. And then there's another treat, which is that one there, which is cookies. So I think you'll like them. And this one here is a little toy badger. And I think it looks so cute. I really like the badger a lot. But here is the toy badger. Let's continue to open the rest of this stuff here. So here's the badger opened. So there we go. And I think the badger is actually a good toy for her to have. Because the badger actually is crinkly. And isn't like fluff. Because whenever puppies are little. like They like to chew the fluff out of stuff. Well that's what happened with our rubber puppies. Like when Heidi was a puppy. She loved chewing the fluff out of teddies. But as you can see, I've got a poo bag dispenser there. And the one I just put before that was a little um, collar for her. But we've got a smaller collar at the moment because we want to have a smaller collar because she will be getting bigger. And so we need to have a smaller collar for the size she is now. So we've got a 15 centimeter one, which is this collar here. So we've got that one. And then we're going to get a bigger collar, which is the one I put before. And there's the collar. It's got a little bow on it. I think it looks so cute. That's the collar. But I'm very happy with it. So there's the collar. And now let's have a look here and see what else I have got. I'm very excited to show you because all these puppies supplies are awesome. And then here is another Kong, which is very cool. These Kongs were so expensive, though. They were literally about $10 if you live in America. But they're about £7 here. But, like, oh, my goodness. Like £7 just for one, like, little tube of puppy thing. It's, like, crazy expensive. So... I probably won't be buying Kongs again unless she really, really likes them. But my mum said she did really like them, so I got two of them. But hopefully she does like the Kong, but I don't know. I think it's very expensive, and I plus I spent all my own money on it. So I'm very excited to actually get the puppy, but I still can't believe how much the Kongs cost. Like, I'm going to go bankrupt. So here are all the puppy things for day one. And now I'm going to move on to show you what the finished result of this playpen and crate looks like. So here's day one's crate reveal. This is I'm gonna improve it, but here is a little playpen and her little crate. So in the crate, we're gonna have a bed and stuff, but we need to actually wash the bed because we're gonna reuse a puppy bed we had for our other puppies. And this one here is all the toys we have, and then also the Kongs, and then we also have the lead, and then we have the collar and all the treats. We've got so many bags of treats, and then the collar and then the chicken strip. So they're all the stuff for day one. And then here is day two. So we actually went today and went shopping and actually bought a whole bunch more stuff. So this is a little um, like piece, piece of fabric we can put at the bottom of her crate. Just so we can wash it in case she wheezes on it. Because as you're aware, puppies have very tiny bladders. And we need to like wash it out a lot. So we need to actually make sure the, the crate is clean. So we want to make sure we have a bit of fabric we can wash. But as you can see here, we have loads and loads of... We've got a massive bit of fabric. So we get loads and loads of little like cutouts from it so I'm trying to cut it out at the moment but we are able to get four of the like cutouts from this which is awesome but these scissors weren't working very well so we had to get other scissors so let's cut getting the new scissors so here are the new scissors and they're actually working perfectly but when we were actually in like the shop the pet shop trying to actually get this bit of fabric to put at the bottom of the crate like it was so annoying because we actually forgot the tape measure and we forgot to measure the inside of the crate and we're like oh we need to manage to get a bit of fabric we can have like loads of um material from so do we have loads of materials that we can like cut it out and make sure it fits so here it is as you can see it fits the bottom of the crate which is that little metal thing there but yes here is this here cut out but it actually took so long to actually try and get the bottom of the crate and actually try and figure out the width of it like we had to phone our dad and be like, oh can you measure this and then we had to figure out a way to actually measure the this the fabric in the shop without a tape measure but in the end, we figured out that the iPhone actually has a measuring app, which you never knew about. So we actually had to learn how to use that, like me and my mum. But we did actually learn how to use that. So here is this um, little crate thing being cut out again now. Here's the next one being cut out. So as you can see, we get four little cutouts. But we realised when we're doing this that we should actually cut it to the end instead of doing it like this. So on the next one, we did actually cut it to the end instead of cutting it closer to the other side. But let's continue to like cut out this little bit here. And then we can continue cutting out the next bit. So here is this pit pretty much cut out now. And there it is. There it is cut out, which is awesome. 
and now that's what it looks like it's like a pink and like purple spirals i think it looks so so cute and i'm really happy with it so my mum is right now measuring this thing again now measuring it just to see what it looks like and let's have a look here and see let's measure it and let's continue trying to cut it because we need to make sure it's straight that way we cut it right and that way we don't really mess it up and it's still the same size so as you can see there's my mum cutting it and now there is all the stuff cut and now i can do a final reveal of the crate so here's the crate after the final day and this is it here what it looks like and we're also getting like a little snuffle mat here and we've got the puppy pads on the floor and then as you can see inside the crate we have a little blanket for her which is so so cute and then we also have this little heartbeat teddy which is a little rabbit because i was thinking like oh, i love rabbits so hopefully lexi will like rabbits too she has a heartbeat teddy and also has a heat pack inside it as well so whenever she's really really little if she thinks that it's her mum and as you can see there's a little blankie so whenever we go and pick her up we're gonna go and rub her mum on it so that way she can still smell her mum because i just think it'd be nice for her and then as you can see we've got little toys for her so there is all the Stuff. and then as you can see here is a little like pet food holder which we're gonna like use for the food and then over here is a little box lock for all the stuff we're gonna have like treats and stuff and the licking mat and the collars and all the treats i actually went and got more treats and never went to go to that shop as well to buy the mat but as you can see you've got loads and loads of stuff for lexi and she's gonna be one spoiled little puppy so yes that is me getting the puppy crate ready for a puppy what we're getting this friday i cannot believe it we're finally getting a puppy i'm so excited but anyway thank you so so much for watching everyone hope you have an amazing day good luck for the giveaway and bye my beautiful blossoms